today we are doing a what I eat any day kind of video and I want to show you what I eat when I'm not feeling my best and when I want to give my digestion a break because sometimes you're just not feeling all those heavy foods you know fried foods you just want to give yourself a break you want something easy and nourishing and today is the day and i want to show you my favorite breakfast lunch and dinner that are absolutely delicious super easy to make and good for your gut i actually have this recipe on my app it's called simplicity celebration bowl this one i'm gonna check what i need now we need another pot for the poached eggs add some water you need to bring it to a boil i also gonna add some ghee homemade ghee super easy to make and it's really good for your gut but you can also use some butter if you want so yeah i really like oats with the ghee and the poached eggs For the eggs, I'm gonna add some apple cider vinegar. I just eyeball it, to be honest. We need to make vortex. We usually let them cook for about two to three minutes. Quick tip, I recommend using fresh eggs because when they're not fresh, like mine, you can see the separation. Some freshly cracked black pepper pinch or two pinches of salt and and some broccoli sprouts so here we have it the final product just like on the app super quick easy to do good for you check it out you guys make it try it out it's amazing here I have about a cup of red lentils that I soaked overnight. So now the entire dish will take about 10 minutes or so, just because I soaked lentils overnight. Now I'm adding a little bit of olive oil and about a teaspoon or so of cumin seeds. The idea is to cook the seeds in hot oil so they can release the aromas and bring more flavor. Next, I'm adding a little bit of chopped ginger and a couple of garlic cloves as well. By the way, you can use ghee or butter as well. I just want to keep this recipe vegan. This is our flavor party and I highly recommend using all of the ingredients, the cumin seed, the ginger and the garlic. And now we are adding the butternut squash that I finally chopped. This squash goes in. Oh my god, it smells so good already. It's like Indian flavor. like seaweed salad, a dried seaweed. I really like the flavor, so I'm gonna add the entire bag. But you can add even a little bit, it would be amazing. The flavor is just great and it's rich in iodine, so it's good for you and it's delicious. I mean, what else do you want from your food? Now we're gonna bring it to a boil and cook until it's nice and tender for about 10 minutes or so.
say dinner time and I'm actually feeling very bad. I don't know, I have a headache and it's very unusual for me, but I'm gonna make some chicken soup, which is always a good idea and it's not just good for your gut health, for your stomach, digestion, but it's also um, very healing food in general. So hopefully we'll feel better soon. for my base but today I don't have any currants left <laughs> I don't have anything to be honest Let's see what works with the butternut squash I like to have a bite in my food so me a little update for you right in the middle of the cooking process we ran out of gas so my husband actually went to the gas station to buy some gas so we can change it and continue our cooking show what a day <laughs> like <laughs> we got our gas I want to shred the chicken and add it back to the pot. Our sofrito party looks good, so I think I'm gonna stop it right there. let it cook for I don't know maybe three to five minutes or so then I'm gonna finish it off with a little bit of spinach and I want to grab uh, some parsley from my garden for the flavor so here we have some herbs and for this soup I personally like to have some parsley you don't need a lot I think it's pretty much Enough. By the way, do you guys know how to deal with caterpillars? I mean, they're everywhere and they like eat everything. It's just insane. And the spinach as well. Check out the spinach. I don't know how you guys grow your food without using chemicals. It's just really hard. It's such a hot day today. It's beautiful, but it's like super windy and the heat is like insane. So we're gonna pretend it's winter and enjoy our hot bowl of soup, even though it's green hot. And the dinner is served. We have these amazing healing bowls of chicken soup and we have some sourdough bread to enjoy it with. We have some meat, we have some veggies, we have some greens. Yeah, 